Wars. Politics. Fame. Discrimination. Big bombs. Crime. Green. Incest. Abortion. Rape. Hypocrisy. Drugs. Adultery. Talk show. Seduction. Child murder. Race. The next program is our domestic violence. I myself, I'm a survivor 10 years now, glory be to God, of domestic violence. And we will mentor to women and men, because believe it or not, there are a lot of men that are abused by women out there. So we have a balance where we offer a mentoring and counseling and give them guidance and support. Well, it started when I was about age 27. I um, married a man 11 years older than me. And um, I was happy at first, you know, he pampered me, made much of me, everything was going okay. But about three months into the marriage, things started to change and there were subtle changes. It got to the stage that I looked in the mirror and I didn't recognize who Samantha was. She was in there, but I didn't know where she was. I lost Samantha somewhere along the line. When I woke up in the morning, I would cry. It was like a ritual. Every morning, I would cry before I stepped out of my bed. Just cry, just so miserable, because it's like, God, I have to live another day with this person. He was verbally abusive. I felt neglected, abused, unappreciated, no support. Even to deal with the children, I felt like a lived-in slave. Uh, some of the abuse was not just physical abuse, but mental abuse, financial abuse, where he would hold back and not help me, so I had to do things on my own. So I looked at myself in the mirror one day and I said, you know what? I have to do this, not even just for myself, but for my children. I didn't want my children to experience the abuse that I was going through. I am saying to people out there, you do not have to put up with it. And I decided when my youngest daughter was 16 weeks old or 12 weeks old, and my twins were 22 months, enough is enough. As simple as that, I left. I'm a survivor of domestic violence and I need and I must give back something to the community. I have to, because just as God has helped me to move on, I would like to empower somebody through mentoring, love and support and compassion and empathy. Next program that we have is the Outreach for Soldiers. We will offer an extensive support system to our soldiers when they return from war. My department handles um, affairs for our veterans. As a member of the Navy myself, I've always also experienced a lot of things that's happening in the military. I've seen a lot of veterans who have um, post-traumatic stress disorder. And there's not a lot of programs out there that the government provide that will handle these issues. So what does recovery mentoring program do? We actually, we work with our veterans, um, we work with these veterans closely. We try to help them to get back into the community, assist them with um, their post-traumatic stress disorder. I had an interview earlier this week with one of our veterans and one of the problems they had was um, also post-traumatic stress disorder. And he told me that he could not sleep in the same bed with his wife because um, you know, at times he would have flashback. He would actually jump out of the bed and hit his wife sometime. So they had to separate them. And some of the medication these guys are using is not effective enough. So we, we at Recovery Mentoring Program, we use other um, alternative methods to helping these um, veterans be healed. So 
I mean, this this program here is actually designed to help all the veterans, assist them to, to get back into the community, assist them with their mental disorders, their spiritual and psychological um, disorders. Now, the next program that we have that we find is very extremely important is our drug and alcohol outreach program. I want to let each individual out there realize that your past does not equal your future. And what we have to do is change your mindset. If you're doing drugs, you can replace that with something positive that would edify you and edify your life and not only edify your life, but edify other pe people out there. The prison outreach program for both men and women. We will go within those prison walls and we will mentor and we will pray with you because we believe in spiritual coaching, we believe in life coaching. That's what makes our program different from a lot of nonprofit organizations because we bring it on a spiritual level. The program is here to help you, you're not in it. We're in the struggle together. That's why we are here. We were developed purposely to combat any negativity or crisis situation in your life. The people that I'm looking for to come on board are people who's professional, people who are compassionate, people who have a burning to move this mission forward within the community. People that are one-to-one, -one, can be one-to-one -one with the people. I'm looking for people that want to make a difference. I believe this is a great thing for the community. Um, I've always uh, been with the belief that the more you give, the more you get. Uh, I believe if we give to the community, we'll get out what Samantha's looking for, and I'm ready to take on that part. We have set up our own crisis line. 24 hours you can call, it's a confidential, crisis line, they can call on 407-905-2689. the only way